Okay. So laying down on your back, feet flat to the floor and knees bent, feet hip width. So find a neutral spine. So that should just be like you just laying here. You'll feel the tailbone, the back of your head, the space between your shoulder blades firmly planted into the floor. A little lift through the lumbar spine and just start to connect with your breath, following it as it moves in through your nose and out of your nose. Start to bring your awareness into that space just underneath your belly button. And without changing or doing anything fancy or special there, just yet, just simply trying to bring your brain into those like one to three inches underneath the belly button. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're going to press away from your feet to bring your pubic bone closer to belly button. So you start to imprint that low back. As you imprint and you're pressing away from your feet, I want you to try to scoop and hollow out that low belly as much as you can. So you're contracting the pubic bone towards your belly button to lengthen out your low back and kind of encourage your tailbone towards the bottom of your mat. And hold here for a few seconds with that low belly hollow, inhale, and then exhale, release. Deep breath in. Exhale again, press away from your feet. Pubic bone rolls towards your belly button. You're hollowing out the low belly as best as you can. And then slowly release, back to neutral. Two more times, breathe in, exhale. Press away from your feet, long, long low back. Start to press into your heels and start to lift your tailbone up. Each vertebrae follows successionally, super slow. Feel each one peel off the mat. Lift your hips as high as you can, and then lift up high to your tiptoes. Keep your tailbone, your pubic bone, as high as you can, as long as you can, and then start to ripple slow all the way down, upper, middle, low back, and that tailbone uncurls very, very last. Root the heels, deep breath in. Exhale, press away from your feet, hollow and hold for three. Pubic bone to belly button, two. And then start to press through the heels, lift the hips up. One vertebrae at a time. Lift all the way up, open up your chest, hips high, strong legs, strong bum. Lift up high to your tiptoes, keep your tailbone high. And then start to articulate down through the spine. Try to keep those hips exactly as they are, as the spine spills into the floor. Vertebrae by vertebrae. One last time for good luck, root the heels, press away from the feet, long low back, pubic bone to belly button, hold, three. Hollow out your low belly, make sure you can even look, make sure you're not coming up, like your muscles aren't peaking from like a triangle, flatten it out. Press through the heels, lift, slowly roll all the way up, holding here, wake up the backs of your legs, your hamstrings, lift up high to the tiptoes and slowly articulate all the way down, one vertebrae at a time. Super, super slow. Kick both feet up to the sky. We did a little bit of this on Monday. We're gonna do some more of it. So legs do not have to be straight, but make sure they're strong and that your feet are not over your face. They're right over top of your hips. From here, imprinting. So pubic bone to belly button, low back presses down into the floor. Hands reach up towards your feet. And then lift your chin up towards your toes. So don't curl into yourself, chin up. Look at your belly. And again, making sure that those muscles are coming up into like a triangle shape or peaking in the center. As best as you can, hollow it out, flatten it out. I like to brush my belly. Okay, from here, mini pulses upwards for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, strong legs, six, five, tiny movements, four, three, Two, good, one and hold, squeeze, curl the upwards into the body, look at your low belly. Bring your mind into that space right underneath that belly button. 
Lift your shoulders as high as you can. Never let them move lower than this for the next set of 10. Always moving upwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And pause, hold, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Low back presses into the floor. Make sure that low belly is hollow. Relax your head, hug your knees into your chest, little rock side to side. Same, same, but different. One leg with both feet up to the sky. Palms down, but uh, actually let's reach them up. Deep breath in, head and shoulders lift off your mat. Hands reach down towards the front of your mat. Flex your right foot. Keep the left foot like kind of pointed in the point, okay? From here, you start to lower this right leg down, making sure you can keep that low back firmly planted. Stop when you feel like your low back is just about to leave the floor and then find that pubic bone to belly button connection, just like we did when we were pressing away from our feet. Pubic bone closer to belly button, belly hollows. This is deep, deep work, it's tedious work. It can be a little frustrating, but it's okay. Take your time, hold three, hold two. Good, head down, feet up, hands up. One breath in, one breath out. Lift your head and your shoulders off the mat. Float your hands down by your sides, flex the left foot. Oops, wait, that's the left foot. Point the right toes. Slowly start to reach that left foot down and away and you move slow. Look at the belly, make sure those muscles aren't peaking. If you have to lift it a little higher to figure it out, you do it. Trust me, you're still gonna feel a lot of it right here. Lift your shoulders a little higher. Lengthen the pubic bone down the mat, sorry, tailbone down the mat, pubic bone to belly button. And then head down, feet up, hug your knees into your chest, a little rock side to side. We're building on that sensation. Bring both feet back up to the sky. Head and shoulders off your mat, mini pulses upwards for 10. So we're, it's not this like big action of like trying to like throw yourself up to the ceiling, okay? You lift as high as you can, and then it's just little tiny ones. <laughs> Squeezing the upper ribs into your body for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and pause, hold, float the hands down. Start to float the right foot down. Make sure those legs, if they are noodles, it's so much more work on the core. Shoot the energy through your legs. Stop where you feel it, making sure that that low back is firmly planted. The tailbone is reaching long. The pubic bone is coming up to the belly button. Breathe in. Three really big pulses towards this left leg. Lift as high as you can. Three. Two. Good. One. Hold. Three. Two. Nice work. Head down, feet up. Hug the knees into your chest. A little rock side to side. Other side, and then we're moving on. Take a deep breath in. Lift your head and your shoulders off the mat. <sighs> Float your hands down by your sides. Breathe in, flex the left foot. Slowly start to drop it down. Pubic bone to belly button. Flatten out that space underneath your belly button. Three big pulses up towards this right leg. Three, these are not easy, these are super hard. Two, good, one and hold it there. Three, curl those upper ribs in, shoulders high. Shoot through your toes, two, nice. Head down, feet up. Closing off with one last set of 10, head and shoulders off the mat, mini pulses upwards. 10, nine, eight, seven, tiny, six, five, four, three, two, and one, nice work. Hug your knees into your chest. A little rock side to side. When you are ready, let's cross our ankles. Roll up and back to downward facing dog. Take a second to stretch it out. If you have a block close by, you can grab one. 
or if you happen to have a squish ball, those are really nice too. We probably don't have squish balls, that's okay. If you don't have anything, also okay. If you have a block, you're gonna bring the block between your thighs. I always prefer this with the squish ball because it has like a little bit more give, but this works. So we're in our down dog, that block is between your thighs. If you don't have it, don't worry. We move forward, high plank and pause, hold. So I know I say this a lot, but I'm always gonna touch on it. We always, when I see planks, I see a lot of this happening, the hips below the shoulders, the stomach spilling, the booty popped or sinking into the shoulders. I'm really exaggerating this right now, okay? But I see lots of variations of this or this, <laughs> okay? I want you to make sure hips and shoulders are at the same height. If you start to feel it, pay attention in your neck, in your traps, like really in your shoulders, your hips are most likely too low. Put the work in your legs and in your core. Over time, as you start to get stronger, you can start to drop your hips a little bit, okay? But if we start here, usually this is what happens. Find that pubic bone to belly button sensation, just like we did on the floor, long low back, long lumbar spine. Squeeze your leg into the center of the box, float the right toes and hold for three. Heart presses forward, toes reach away. Don't let that belly spill. Upper ribs in by pressing away from the hands, pubic bones to belly button. Nice, switch your legs and hold. Reach through those left toes. Press out of the floor. Make sure you're not sinking into the ground. Rise out of it. Good, drop the toes, press back. Down dog, soften the knees, keep the heels high. Deep breath in. Big breath out, press back forward. High plank and pause, hold. Squeeze those legs, squeeze that block. Right hand, left shoulder, hold. Try not to let those hips dip. So what you do when you float the right hand, right toes press down and back, left hand presses down and forward. Left toes are super light, hold. Three, they're still on the floor though. Two, good, switch your hands. Press down through the left toes, down and back. Press the right hand down and forward, and then press out of the floor, hold. Three, hips even, two, Good, hands down, press back, down dog. <sighs> Breathe in, breathe out. High plank and pause, hold. Right toes float, left hand, right shoulder if you wanna make it more challenging. If this is enough work for you, you stay both hands down. Left hand, right shoulder, hold, three. Hold, two. Hold one and switch. We're going to 10. Long and strong, no noodles, three. Whole body working, two, good, release and switch. Squeeze into the block, hold, three, hold, two, good, release and switch. This is four, long and strong, resist the floor, pubic bone under, upper ribs in. This is five, halfway. Good, this is six, squeeze into that block, hug the midline. Switch seven, good, switch eight, switch nine, nice, switch 10, good, drop the toes, hips up and back, down dog, take the block out of the way, or actually, you know what, you can keep it there if you like, if it's there. We're dropping down to our knees, so same, Actually, no, I don't want the block there. Take the block out of the way. Indecision today is the theme. <laughs> so from here, take your knees a little, let's take a child's pose. Big toes touch, knees wide, hips to heels. <sighs> Keeping your knees this wide, you're gonna come up to your tabletop and then just open up your feet to match your knees, okay? From here, you're tilting the table so you're in like a modified plank position. Don't let this happen. Press away from the hands, squeeze up ribs in, pubic bone towards belly button. Take your left hand a little bit further forward in front of your shoulder, right arm up by your ear. So you're in, you're not in a tabletop, you're leaning forward a little bit. From here, mini pulses. We're just gonna pulse, we're gonna see how it goes, keep going. One, two, three, making sure you're not letting your core slip. 
Keep pressing out of the hand, keep those upper ribs in check. Core is on and solid. Mini pulses. If you have a little hand weight, these are really, really good.